Man, the Jets were awful on Sunday in every phase. But I had a lot of fun watching the big ticket, the new left tackle of the Jets, Joe Douglas's first draft pick. And he just took people. I know this is Jordan Poyer right here. But he would just take people in this game and just throw them off the screen. I mean, that's what you do when a safety is in your way. You throw them off the screen. But it wasn't just safeties. Watch what he does here in the down block against Harrison Phillips. Watch what he does here. It's like taking out the trash on Sunday night. He just disposes of them. He goes off the screen, too. The big ticket got busy. I like the way he goes about his business. I like big people that can move big people. Watch what he does to Jerry Hughes here. I mean, Jerry Hughes is an accomplished pass rusher. Look at that technique. Look at the hands, the patience, the, the, the hand pace placement. This is what happens when you show up to practice every day. You show up every day and you want to get better. Yeah, you got a lot of talent. You got size and you can move. But you protect the blind side of Sam Darnold. You can't protect it any better than on the blindsided island. That's what you do right there. Nice job by the ticket. All right, now, he blocks people. Sometimes he blocks, like, the whole group. He blocks Ed Oliver here and secures that for Alex Lewis. Now he's looking for more white shirts. There's Hughes and Poyer. Watch what they end up doing. They just go in the trash heap, too. They're all on the ground. The big ticket hits you. You go down. You go down. Come on, Sam, make that throw for crying out loud. Let's watch the big ticket here. Mario Addison, look at that location. Look at the hand right there on the pad. Bam. That's beautiful stuff. Now just keep running. Watch this. Down goes Addison. Down goes Addison. Just throw him over the pile. Catch the ball for crying out loud. Perfect technique on this ET game. This is a stunt. Popular stunt, okay? 97, Addison's going inside. They're setting him up. You flatten him. You feel the bump with Lewis, and you come off. You can't do it any better than that. Perfect on the stunt. Uh, watch, watch, watch this little quick Muhammad Ali jab. He staggers Addison here. Just a little quick jab right there. Bam. Look at the legs. The quick jab. Bam. Remember Ali? He had that quick jab. He said there wasn't a clock in the world that could time the jab. The quick jab. Staggers him. Man, this guy is fun to watch. Fun to watch. Come on, people. Join me in the film room. See what you're missing here. Yes. He got him on a sack. He got him here. There's no question. Now, what you got to do is look at where Sam is, all right? Sam is standing six yards behind the center, all right? Now, he's back 11 yards right here. When he, when he starts feeling it, like he's back. Like, he's running him on the arc. He's not in bad shape here. What I'd say to the big ticket, stay with him. Get that stupid clock out of your head, all right? If you stay with him and keep running him, you're not on the ground, you're just as good an athlete, just keep running him. That's the coaching point there. Now, watch him just move the whole line of scrimmage. Just watch him just crush people. I mean, just run your offense behind the big ticket, all right? That's what Seattle did with Waller Jones. That's what you have here. I think you have a young Walter Jones. Like, just run your offense around it. This is what you can do. Look at this. Look what he does. Look at Frank Gore. Like, watch what he's doing here. Just Buffalo Bill is just getting pushed and thrown around. Jerry Hughes is going to be on the ground. I don't know how Sam misses this. He's got a wide open. Look at this. Let me just throw him. It's like Monday Night Raw. Just throw him down. Two points. Like, just throw this ball, please, to Jameson Crowder for a touchdown. It's the scramble drill. There's nobody there. Just throw it. Now, Lamar Jackson does this in his sleep. Come on. Make the throw. He just moves bodies. Look at this. Just run your offense behind Highway 77. It's not that hard. He just widens every hole. Yeah, now look. Mary Addison, Addison look at this. Look at he's staggering. They're always, like, off bounds. Now, this weekend, it's going to be Nick Bosa. It's going to be a different 97. But watch how patient he is. Like, help out help out your guard with that right hand. Just feeling Oliver. But watch how patient. Look at this. Look at that right hand. Look at him reset his hands. Reset his hands. Keep the feet moving. 
Keep playing. Keep pushing. Knock him past the pile. Perfect. Then you get down here. This is the final touchdown. 57 seconds to go in the game. Just tell me. There he is. He's just taking Addison with one hand off the screen. But what's the only guy in the Jets that gets excited about this Adams touchdown? The only guy. The only guy that looked excited out there after that Josh Adams touchdown. The only guy putting his hands up like it's a touchdown. Like, could you get a little more excited like the rookie did for crying out loud? You got the ball in the end zone. Get excited. Play like Becton did. Lead, let the rookie lead you for crying out loud. This was, a, this was an impressive 57-play performance by Mekhi Becton. I had fun watching, and I can't wait to watch him against Nick Bosa this week. Not just that, but he's the best rookie in the league after two weeks. And he got a test. It was only 13 plays Nick Bosa played. But he got an early test with Nick Bosa, number 97. And when Bosa tried to go inside on him, he just covers him up. You want to know what the, you're doing against the player? Where is that player you're blocking when the ball is released? Where's Nick Bowes? He's not off the line of scrimmage yet. That's where it started when Sam Darnold throws his ball. He had no problem 13 plays with Nick Bowes. Here he is here. He doesn't need any help. He doesn't need anybody over there helping him, chipping him, putting a tight end over there. Just put him there on the blind side. That's what he can do. It doesn't matter what the name of the back of the opponent's jersey is. Now, his hands are great on Bowes. But Bowes is great. He's got leverage. Look, he pushes his elbows up, but watch. Becton resets. He resets his hands. The ball's out. Where's Nick Boza? Sam Darnold's in good shape right there. Those are wins. Those are wins. Here comes Boza here. Here he is, coming inside. What's he do? What day is your pickup? What day is your trash pickup? Is it Monday morning? Well, if it is, sometimes you take your trash out on Sunday afternoon. Just throw him into the trash pile. That's all you do. That was Boza. Then... He got some other comers. It didn't matter what the name were. It didn't matter. He was a dominant player. This is Javon Kinlaw here. Javon Kinlaw is the 49ers' first-round pick. Watch what he does to Kinlaw. Now, tell me, look at the hole right there. I, look, Frank Gore's been in this league for 20 years. He started with the 49ers. But look at this hole that Mekhi Becton just creates right here. Like, he can't Look at that thing. It's a gorge. It's not a hole. It's a gorge. It's a canyon. Like, hit the hole. I mean, this is, he's Highway 77. Just put your offense and run right behind number 77. All right? Look what he's doing here. Look at this thing. He can't believe, look at him. Come on, man. What are we doing? Two yards? That should be hitting your head on the goalpost. Look at this. Drake Greenlaw. He's got him off the screen. They don't even, they don't even, if they're off the screen. Look at this. This is Reggie White at left tackle. This is who he is. Watch what he does here. I mean, it's play to play. I love this. Just pancake them and then put some syrup and whipped cream and strawberries on top and sit on top of them. Look what he's doing to these people. This is how you protect the blind side. Like, just put them over there against anybody right now. Look what he's doing. Like, they, they can't move. Like, how much further away can this end be from the quarterback? One hash to the other? I mean, look at this. This is the blind side, all right? Watch him out here down the field. I mean, look, I know it's a defensive back, but watch what he does to him. I mean, the ball's not even flipped yet, and he's already got him on the ground. I mean, Malone is just coming around and... Right now, I, is there anybody else that he can sit on before Malone gets to him? I love the reaction. He tries to get another push on Kyron Williams. Look at this. He's telling the coaches, would you please just run behind me? Just call the whole damn offense behind me. Like, this number 99 and three technique here is Javon Kinlaw. He's a grown man. He's 335 pounds, and he's going to be a good player. And the big ticket gets inside him, and he just grabs him by the throat. He just grabs him by the throat and cuts him off on the backside. And then he just clears the deck here. I mean, just clear the deck. I mean, here comes Kinlaw. They're going to run a stunt, try to run a stunt. Nothing seems to work. All right, Kinlaw keeps coming. Just get him down. Just clear the deck. I mean, people just hit the ground 
when Becton hits him. Here we go. Makai Becton is the Jets' best football player. Become a left-handed team and run your offense behind this guy. All right? Look what he's doing here. Just run right behind him. Fourth and one. Just run behind him. Third and two. On the goal line. Run your offense behind him. There's yards to be made. Like guys just end up on the ground. It's beautiful stuff. Watch this here. I mean, this is what he this is how strong he is. This is a power rush coming right at him. Watch him just drop the anchor and the defense lineman's feet just stop. It stopped. Like, and then just when you're watching the games this weekend, when the ball gets thrown, where's the offensive lineman's man? Sam Darnold, going through about four different progressions right here. Look at where Mekhi Becton's man is when Sam makes this throw. I mean, he can't hold it a lot longer than this. Look what he does. He's just stopping grown men's feet. I love watching the big ticket play football. I don't know what the Jets' record is going to be. I know this. I'm going to watch every single snap that Mekhi Becton plays this year for the New York Jets. I might not be able to tell you. What anybody else does, but I'm going to watch Highway 77 play football every single week, the whole season. Let's go through a couple plays with Makai Becton. Like the first play of the game, Frank Clark. Gets a little push from Alec. I mean, he's got Frank Clark in the air, and he's got him down on his Clark. And then he rolls on top of him. That felt good. Just watch the ticket here. Backside cutoff on Chris Jones with one hand. Just drives a $100 million man all the way down. The back cuts off him. Just, I mean, play to play to play, Derek Noddy. Like, it's a chain reaction. Down goes Noddy. Down goes another linebacker. The ticket just knocking people over. I mean, let's just, I mean, here's Chris Jones right here. This is like an alley jab. You just stagger him right to the jugular. Bam. Just stagger him. Bam. Like that violence right there. Chris Jones just staggered at the point. Fourth and one. Get on the damn highway. Get on the damn highway. I don't care who's running the ball. Get behind Highway 77. You'll get the yard. Then, pass pro. I mean, almost a perfect day. I mean, there is Frank Clark. That's a $100 million man. Watch him just run him around the arc. Like, he's still blocking. The ball's incomplete. And he's still blocking. And we go. Like, right now, this time of the year, I've seen snow. Like, he's a freaking snow plow. Bam. He just clears the roads. Sorensen. Who's the next guy with color in front of me? Sorensen. Let's take him for a ride. A snow plow right there. That's what he is. That's what you need to clear the roads. They need about four more Bectons on this team. Like, just... You want to try to cross chop on him? You're not getting around the ticket. You're just going to sit on your ticket. Just put him down. I mean... There's not a lot to watch right now. But for me, can I just watch, like, more of the big ticket? That's the most fun I have. Jet fans, I feel your pain. I feel it. So let's just watch Mekhi Becton just knock people around on Sunday. At least somebody was having a little bit of fun. It wasn't perfect. It wasn't perfect. But, like, at least somebody was just knocking some Buffalo Bill meat to the ground. Somebody was just getting out here. I love watch Tredavious White. He's a all pro corner. Like Mackay Becton's just blown on him. He's like, it's like the Matador and the Bull. I'm not getting near that bull. No way. I run myself out of bounds onto the jet sideline. I'll become a jet before I take that bull on. Like, just have a little fun here. Like, get these damn tight ends out of the way. Just get out of the way. Let him do his thing. He's got Epinesa on the ropes. Let him finish him. Stop it. Get out of the way. Just let him have some fun. Like, this stuff is, like, real. Matt Milano, back in the lineup. Like, who's blocking here? Like is, any, like, is anybody else blocking like this? He's got Matt Milano, the inside linebacker, 10 yards off the ball. Like, just watch him here. Mario Addison. Like, watch this here. Ed Oliver. Like, if you're going to, it's second and one, you need a yard. Just run behind the ticket. Go ahead, LaMichael, come on. He's got Ed Oliver. This right here? Like, this is ridiculous stuff right here. Free to help? Bam. Free to help? You want to drop that Oliver? 
Like, guys just go flying. That's just a two-hand shove. It's a love tap. Watch it. Mario Addison here. Watch Mario Addison. Where, watch where he ends up here. Like, can we just do something? Can we just run plays behind Highway 77? Like, look at this. Would you like to see that again in slow motion just for fun? Just because it's so miserable right now? Watch what he does to Mario Addison. One hand. You want some more, Mario? Here's a little bit of more. Off the screen. Like, you can't find these players. Golly, man. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Just run behind him. Just get everybody out of the way. Oh, at least I had some fun. He had some fun. That's for you Jet fans out there. I feel your pain. Golly. Let's go through a couple plays with Makai Becton. Like the first play of the game, Frank Clark. Gets a little push from Alec. I mean, he's got Frank Clark in the air, and he's got him down on his Clark. And then he rolls on top of him. That felt good. Just watch the ticket here. Backside cutoff on Chris Jones with one hand. Just drives a $100 million man all the way down, and the back cuts off him. Just, I mean, play to play to play, Derek Nottie. Like, it's a chain reaction. Down goes Nottie. Down goes another linebacker. The ticket just knocking people over. I mean, let's just, I mean, here's Chris Jones right here. This is like an ollie jab. You just stagger him right to the jugular. Bam. Just stagger him. Bam. Like that violence right there. Chris Jones just staggered at the point. Fourth and one. Get on the damn highway. Get on the damn highway. I don't care who's running the ball. Get behind Highway 77. You'll get the yard. Then, pass pro. I mean, almost a perfect day. I mean, there is Frank Clark. That's a $100 million man. Watch him just run him around the arc. Like, he's still blocking. The ball's incomplete. And he's still blocking. And we go. Like, right now, this time of the year, I've seen snow. Like, he's a freaking snow plow. Bam. He just clears the roads. Sorensen. Who's the next guy with color in front of me? Sorensen. Let's take him for a ride. A snow plow right there. That's what he is. That's what you need to clear the roads. They need about four more Bectons on this team. Like, just... You want to try to cross chop on him? You're not getting around the ticket. You're just going to sit on your ticket. Just put him down. I mean... There's not a lot to watch right now. But for me, can I just watch, like, more of the big ticket? That's the most fun I have. To Jet fans, they're happy they're 0-11. To Jet players like Mekhi Becton, it's miserable. It's just misery here. I mean, he takes his defensive end here, and he just buckles him on the first play of the game. He's on his knees. All right? It should be more than three yards for Frank Gore on the play. I mean, just this... What is this? Like Andrew Van Ginkle out here. Bam. Like he's spinning him like a top. Like outside linebackers aren't supposed to run backwards. Six yards for Gore. I mean, it was, here he is against Christian Wilkins. I mean, Wilkins was what? The 12th pick in the draft last year. Makai was what? The 11th pick. Big on big. Here we go. They had a pretty good meeting on the day. Like he stops his feet here on the charge. Wilkins is a powerful dude. I mean, look at the quarterback when he's throwing the ball and where your man is. Nowhere near him. Like, here's Christian Wilkins, 94. Like, it's a down block. Wilkins is going to try and play over the top like he's taught to do. When he does, he gets buckled. I mean, Wilkins has been out with, what, COVID or something? Like, he wants to play. He's going up against the best. Here we go. Jerome Baker, number 55, he comes over to get to feel the punch of Makai Becton. Does he really want this? Like, like his head snapping. Like, that's not a good position. To be. He's their leading tackler for the Dolphins. That's not a good position to be the leading tackler. Like, he's just getting, a, like, a Mike Tyson stunned. Like, it's a standing eight count almost. Now, go finish him, Makai. Go finish him. You had him stunned right here. You got him all the way back to the corner. Go put him out of the ropes. All right? Don't let him stand up. Like, he wires Andrew Van Ginkle here. Like, you can't. Like, the feet never stop moving. He's in perfect position. I mean, you can't protect any better than that. Shaq Lawson here. Okay, Shaq Lawson. I mean, here he is. 
get to drop his ankle, watch him move. Watch the footwork and just the hips and how the whole body moves together. And at the end, he's just got him one hand on a stab. He's got him complete. I mean, he can smoke a cigar with his left hand. He's got him completely controlled with his right hand. And Darnold's got great time to make that throw. Big play to Denzel Mims. They could never make any of these explosive plays pay off the whole day. Now, look, quarterback wants to take a shot throw. Give him some time on the backside. Now, here it is. Now, watch. Lawson goes inside on him. Fine. Shuffle, slide, shuffle, slide, anchor, throw. Perfect. I forgot I'm going to watch the throw. Here we go. Help your guard on this twist. Help your guard. Pat Elfline making his first start as a Jet. Help your guard. Punch. Keep your eye up on the outside linebacker. All right? They're not going to run anymore. Tackle end games right there if you do that. Like the protection is perfect. Five-man protection. Just make a throw. Make a catch. Come on. Finish the other part. Third and ten. 13 to three. End of the third quarter. Dolphins throwing junk. Just straight junk at the Jets here. I mean, make this play here. Like, it's just junk. And at the end of the day, Makai just, I mean, just wad it all up. It's just junk. Ty Johnson, good job right there. Blitz pick up. Boom. All right. I mean, the protection was pretty damn good, man. Like, I mean, get the first down. Wilkins versus Becton. Here we go. 94-77. Good matchup. Look at this. Look at this. He stops his feet. Like it's over. All right, Perriman makes a play. They need more of that. Frank Gore is going to run right behind him. Here's Mackay and Christian Wilkins right here. I mean, Wilkins is strong. There's a nice little hole right there. Ten yards. How about this here? Like, it just watches movement. Just watch Mount Becton just move. Just watch him shuffle, slide. All right? Like, it's like a moving tornado. Like, just give me somebody with another color jersey to hit. I'll figure it out. Like, this movement is elite movement. Like, you practice this stuff. It's like a basketball player. Shuffle, slide. Let me find another color. Just can't make that throw, though. It stinks. Come on. That's terrible. Now, here. On this play, this is a bear look. The Dolphins were like a puzzle the Jets couldn't figure out all day. You got to get... You got to block a Landon Roberts here. So when Makai Becton widens Van Ginkle like this, like the guard center, they got to full scoop this thing right up to 44. And if you do, if you block 44, like you should on this full scoop, if you do, Gore's going to maybe hit his head on the goalpost. So watch the reaction when Highway 77 is just knocking the hell out of the outside linebacker and widening him. He's like, come on, man. Like just read his body language. Come on, man. Like, we got to get more than a freaking yard. Come on. Highway 77, man. I didn't see a bad play from him all day. Horrible Jets performance. I didn't see a bad play from Beckton. After weeks and weeks of just screaming that the Jets have got to become a left-handed football team, they became a left-handed football team and built the offense around their massive left tackle, Makai Beckton. And it paid off. Guys like Ty Johnson. Goes for over 100 yards for the first time in his career. In fact, when was the last time a Jets back ran for over 100 yards? When was the last time the Jets ran for 200 yards? Just watch this. He takes Cleveland Farrell on basically an Uber ride on every one of these runs here. I mean, he's just, like, if you look at the hole here to the left, I mean, there is the hash mark right there. Okay, watch where Cleveland Farrell ends up. Like, he's... Three yards outside of the hash mark. And there goes Ty Johnson. I mean, it's just play after play. And it was the passing game, too. You can build your passing game around him as well. Like, there's the passing lane there to Denzel Mims. Throw it right behind Highway 77. All right? Let Mims do all the work. But just put your offense around him. Build it around him. Nice throw by Sam Darnold, and the Jets take, Jets take the opening drive for a touchdown? How about this? They're going to bring Ryan Griffin in, okay? They're going to crack back on Cleveland Farrell, number 96, and it gets Becton outside. 
Now, this safety, Harris, doesn't want any part of Makai Beckham. I mean, no part. It's like the running with the Bulls in Pamplona. Like, they're just going to get, like, throw them right off the screen. All right. They're a left-handed team. This is what it is. This is what a left-handed team is. Look at it. Look at that. I mean, they got them all bunched up. All right? He just caves them all in. Sam's got all day to find Ryan Griffin on a check down. First down. Josh Adams. Josh Adams had a big run. Had a big day. I mean, look at him right here. Look what he does. Just keep pushing him. Look at the hole. One after another. I mean, they ran for 206 yards. Is that true? Did they run for 206 yards? How many were behind Highway 77? I mean, this isn't that hard. It just isn't. I mean, it's play after play. A left-handed football team. Build your offense around Highway 77. You're not going to go wrong here. I mean, the end is just all he's doing is on skates. He's backing up. It just widens the whole hole. Play after play. Now, it's not a good play. I mean, it's just not a good play. I mean, Farrell is not a great pass rusher. But he gets the corner on Makai. Now, I don't know what happens to Sam here. I don't know if he just dropped, like, if whose hand hits Sam. And the ball just, I mean, it felt like if you blow on Sam, the ball was coming out. But that's on Makai. That's on him. He's got to do a better job in a pass protection right there. Look at look, look, look at Farrell run into Makai. He almost gets bounced right off there. But he's got to be better than that on the edge. No question. But let's go back to just being a left-handed team here. Here we go. I mean, it's play after play. They try to finally figure this out. Bam. I mean, look how much you just widened the whole thing. Ty Johnson, I remember asking Joe Douglas last week before the Jet, before the Jets Miami game. Does this kid got anything? It seems like he's an explosive back. He's got speed. Well, can he can he break tackles? Is he a contact back? Now this is another, this is not a good play. Now you got a new left guard, Pat Alfline. All right? This is a twist stunt right here. All right? They've got to be better. All right. They haven't worked that much together. Elfline was signed. They haven't probably practiced that much together. But there's no way that this tackle end game should beat. Elfline and, and Mackay Beckton. And it does. And Sam gets the ball jolted out. That's a horrible play. Max Crosby comes up with it. Did the Jets go like 96 yards on this touchdown drive here? Where do they go? I mean, here it is. Look at this. Like, who drives the end that far? Look where he starts. And look where he ends up. Like, the hole just keeps getting wider and wider and wider. Josh Adams goes for a dozen. Fourth quarter. Stay left. Just keep going. Watch what he does to Nick Morrow, number 50 here. Bam. Two-handed chest pass. Right to the ground. Josh Adams goes for six more. <clears throat> Ty Johnson's going to go for 16 yards here. Where do you think he's going to run behind? Where do you think the aiming point is? Right down Highway 77. Just get on it. Just get on it and get the running game going. It's not that hard. Touchdown run. He's just going to cave in. They're going to take the lead here. Ty Johnson's going to get his first NFL touchdown. All he's going to do is just run right down Highway 77. He's going to cave in the whole side of the line here. Everybody. There they all go. They all get crushed. Ty Johnson gets in the end zone. Mikhail will tell you what happened. It's a touchdown. It's a touchdown. The Jets have the lead with five and a half minutes to go. It's a touchdown, 28-24. It's a shame. It's a shame how they lost it. They finally have figured something out in 13 weeks, that Becton is a guy that you run behind. Run behind the big ticket. Just run behind and build your offense around the big ticket, period. Play after play. Pass, run, screens. Just get it. Just say, okay. What can we do behind the mirror? What can we do next play? Can we get him in space? I mean, just build your offense around Highway 77. And clean up a couple pass protections, Makai. You're better than that. If you go to Seattle on a clear day, there's Mount Rainier right there. You can't miss it. If you put Makai Becton next to Mount Rainier, which one's bigger? Let's watch Becton. Ten plays. Ten of his 53 snaps. Just staggered Jordan Brooks right there. 
You know, some days I feel like if Becton got into a ring with a bear, I'd feel bad for the bear. I really would. Because sometimes, like, he just hits things, and, like, he just staggers them. Like, K.J. Wright, like, imagine Makai Becton putting up Christmas decorations. You imagine how many things would just get smashed. Good protection right there. I mean, like, he just hits things, and he just knocks them all down. Like, it's like bowling. Like, one, like, it's a, imagine him putting up Christmas decorations. Like, everything would get smashed. I smashed four Christmas bulbs the other day, just holding them too tight. Like, forget it, putting up Christmas lights. It would be impossible. Look at these, like, his punch. Then everybody should, should be a game. Like, go feel the punch. Jordan Brooks, he gets frustrated. He gets frustrated because they don't gain enough yards when he's just smashing people right here. Like, this move right here. Like, he's just got people on the, like, when he hits them, like, and he follows them, like, that's, a, they're just breathing in AstroTurf up there, whatever they call that stadium right now. Like, when it's raining out there in Seattle, like, keep your little people away from Mount Becton. Like, this is just a slip and slide here. Like, yeah, he's probably having fun right there. But get your little people away from this guy. That's Mount Rainier right there. Get, keep those people in the secondary. Let them go guard some of those fast guys. Like, this shove right here. Like, he just took out the garbage. Like, that's Sunday trash right there. Like, he's tripping all over the place. He knocks his own guy down. Oh, we don't want to watch what Sam does. All right, let's just keep it on Becton here. I mean, Shaquem Griffin trying to spin on him. Those feet will stop. Just stop. I saw one bad protection, him and Pat Elfline, on a twist stunt. They got to get that cleaned up. They got to sh- sh- shut that stuff off. They got a new linebacker out there, Barton, right here. He's going to feel his punch once, again, and then the reaction. All that movement, we gained three stinking yards. If you get Mount Rainier or Mount Becton next to each other, which one is bigger? I just want to know. I haven't been to Seattle in a while. Back by popular demand. A demand unlike I've never seen before. This is Makai Becton in L.A. yesterday at SoFi Stadium. That's Alton Robinson, number 94. He's going to taste the dirt at SoFi Stadium on that push right there. What a day for Frank Gore. What a day for the Jets. Take flight, baby. A.D. got to feel his punch. A.D. got to feel his punch. The defensive player of the year. He might win it again this year. He got to feel the punch of the big ticket. He comes off the ball here. Michael Brockers right here. Brockers has been a staple in this line for a long time. He got on the highway. He felt the brunt of the highway right here. The push. He got pushed down. Down goes Brockers. They got behind the highway, up 13 to nothing. You know what time it is? It's time to get on the highway. That's what it is. Highway 77. Ty Johnson, which way do you want to go? Pick up six yards against the team that gave up the fewest yards in the NFL. Third fewest points. Are they getting pushed around by the Jets? Wait, what's going on? They said that there were tremors, earthquake tremors, out there in L.A. yesterday. Minor but I think it's when Mackay lined up in the bunch formation. Give him the ball for crying out loud. Don't let him just stand there and create earthquakes. Mackay, Mackay, in the bunch, in the bunch, that's fun. Here we go. Now, this is what I call the Becton wall. See the Becton wall? There's Morgan Fox and AD. They're like backpedaling. They came to the Becton wall. Sam needed time here. Oh, Sam finds time right here to Prashad Perriman, 21 yards behind the Becton wall. This is called Becton stretch left. He's just going to run and just boom. boom. <laughs> That's Morgan Fox. Did he start? Where did he start? He started inside the numbers, and he ended up outside the numbers. The Becton stretch left. I like that play. I think I'm going to put that in some Pop Warner stuff. Good stuff. Even A.D., even Aaron Donald between Pat Elfline and 
Makai Becton, he can't pierce the wall. The Becton wall. Even AD can't find a crack. Nothing. It's a wall. Even Aaron Donald can't get through that. What a throw to Chris Herndon. Remember when Chris Herndon and Sam Darnold had a connection the rookie year together? First round pick from USC. Fourth round pick out of Miami. Herndon showed up yesterday. Now, that's Morgan Fox outside of the big ticket. It's easier to orbit the sun than it is to try to get around Mekhi Becton here. I mean, orbiting the sun could be faster than that. No chance. Barrios down to the one. Now, what do you want to do? Like, what's going on here with the Rams? The Rams don't have anybody in front of the highway. They know better. That's Aaron Donald way down. Let's just go pin AD down. Nobody in front of the ticket right there. Gore's like, where's Highway 77? Oh, Highway 77. Sam Darnold knows a little about highways in Southern California. Get on the damn highway. Touchdown, Gore. Sam knows about highways. He's a Southern California guy. You know what he did when he got in trouble yesterday? He got on the highway. He got right behind Highway 77. He takes off for 12 yards. They're all chasing him. Sam's got that ball in his left arm. Looked like a pretty good running back. Give that guy a pat on the head. Come on. Nice run. 12 yards on the highway. Four minutes to go. Can you finish the game? 23-20. How about this? Brockers has no chance of getting in there. There's Frank. Cut right behind the highway. Feeling pretty good. Now, second and seven. The biggest run of the season for Frank Gore came on second and seven. Right behind Becton. Here he goes. He's just punching Brockers. Who's feeling it here? I think the big ticket's feeling it right here. He might even be talking a little smack to the Rams. Why not? It was a good feeling out there in L.A. And then, let AD feel your pop. There's 99 right there, right in his position. Let him feel the pop right here. Four yards for Frank. We're not done yet. We've got to finish it out. Third and six. Game's on the line. Darnold's got to find... What are you going to do here? Rams coming after him with five. Holland's got nothing. AD's getting close. But Frank Gore, was Frank Gore just waving his hands in the middle of SoFi Stadium? Whatever that logo is these days. Look at the disappointment on the Rams. The frustration. The Jets finish. That's the, that's the ticket. First down. First down. First down. Oh, what a feeling. Oh, what a feeling. Frank's feeling it. How old is Frank? 37? I mean, look at him. Like a kid, first down, first down. Nothing like winning. Nothing. Get on that plane. Get on the highway. And what happens next? The final victory formation. Jets practice this from the very first day of training camp. Watch Aaron Donald walk off the field. He knows. Let me get the hell out of here. We just got beat by the Jets. Jets won the line of scrimmage. Error-free football. The tech hits talking. The Jets are having fun. They got a good ride home. Hell flying. Andrews. Fant. Oh, Herndon. Look at him, man. They got a chance to celebrate. Merry Christmas, guys. What a feeling. Victory Monday for the Jets. They got on the highway.